you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine and I'm here at the annual Tree and Vine Expo and at the Stanislaus County Fairgrounds put on by American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer and California Fresh Fruit Magazines. Today was a great show with a great lineup of speakers including Chris Toller up from the UC Cooperative Extension who spoke on managing leaf-footed bugs and here's Chris to talk about it. Leaf-footed bug is a very large Korean bug that is a problem in a lot of different crops. It has a very host, large host range. However, we're most familiar with it on three crops, pomegranate, uh, almonds, and pistachios. The problem with leaf-footed bug is that populations are tending to be much larger over these past three years, especially with the warm falls and winters. So we get these very, very large overwintering aggregations. And those aggregations then in the springtime, and sometimes early, sometimes as early as, as February, if it's warm enough, will tend to begin to move in to almond. And they'll, they'll sting, they'll eat the fruit, they'll sting the fruit, and those fruit will drop on the ground. Uh, and sometimes they remain in the tree as well. But we're limited in our ability to monitor for that bug early in the season. It's very stealthy, it's kind of a hit and, hit and run cryptic uh, species. You can use long poles to monitor for the, uh, the bug in the upper part of the canopy, but what I like is using visual uh, 15 to 20 second counts per tree, go along the sunny side of the tree, and once you get an a view or a gestalt rather of the way that bug looks they'll be right on the outside of the canopy and a lot of times on those developing fruit so they're not that difficult to see and you can cover a lot of ground using 15 or 20 second counts unfortunately there's not a lot of compounds available to control leaf footed bugs we found that in, 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 in trials on just pistachio, we found that the bifenthrin, pyrethroid, had about a 28-day residual and was by far the most effective of the compounds. That is, uh, Lohr's ban is not registered on, on pistachios, but is on almonds. It has about a week to 10-day residual, so pretty effective. But the bottom line is that there's not many compounds uh, that are registered yet that are effective on that leaf. Begin monitoring in, in on, uh, on, on almonds from March through April, and especially around the edges where you're, there's host crops. And that host crop would be, you know, it could be, which is not really a crop, but a riparian area, especially around pomegranates. Uh, eucalyptus groves where they can overwinter in those areas, um, but certainly near pomegranate. And you want to use the history of damage as well. So if you know that damage has occurred in a particular part of your orchard, you want to really concentrate your monitoring, your monitoring there. Thank you, Chris. Gain the full coverage of our annual expos by reading Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, and American Vineyard Magazines. I'm Matthew Malcolm. CaliforniaAgnet.com